really close with is um, a social enterprise called Lunch Foods. Uh, they help feed kids in our community. Um, there's a huge uh, sort of problem with kids in poverty at the moment. Um, they're, during the school holidays, they're not eating properly, um, and when they come back to school, they're, they're malnourished. And uh, what we've done is we've tried to work with Lunch Foods and, and to combat that. So we do all their advertising and creative, and um, try and get the word out there. A lot of social media. Uh, we do with them and it's just getting the word out um, to people that you know this is Scotland and our kids are going hungry this shouldn't be happening so we've managed to feed over 30,000 at the moment but we need to do more and that's just in Glasgow and um, we want to branch out to the whole of Scotland um, and the whole of the UK eventually. Favourite ones at uni was Neville Brody, who um, did a lot of magazine design covers and, and things like that. And uh, I always thought, oh, I'd love to like have my own art studio and, and do that. And um, but I never thought it would be this soon. <laughs> um, I mean, it's been ten years almost since I was at, at uni. Um, but yeah, I didn't expect. If you'd said, "What was your ten-year plan?" I would say just to have a steady job. Um, and just be a graphic designer in a big company would be quite happy. Um, but yeah, to be creative directors, yeah, a huge step up. But it's great, I mean, it's a huge learning curve, but I mean, you learn all the time in this industry. You've got to learn new things every single day almost. Um, programs evolve, computers, technology evolves, um, the, the spaces we design in evolve, uh, UX and UI design. I mean, there's a, even mobile design didn't exist when I was at uni. We had, on your mobile, you could phone and text and you could maybe browse a few things, but there was no mobile website design. So that was all learned uh, after that. So it was constantly learning. Uh, but I think uni's given me that sort of mindset of where I can do that um, and I can continue to learn. And, and it's kind of, because the, the the way that our lecturers worked was they would give you the sort of basis but they would push you to go and learn stuff yourself so it's given me that sort of mindset to go and just learn new things and, and do it um, myself whereas a lot of people are uh, kind of waiting for people to teach them how to do stuff whereas at Cali they kind of push you to go and do it yourself and use your own initiative which is, is really good. Great fun. Uh, I get to meet so many different kind of people. They range from sole traders right through to CEOs of big companies and things like that. So um, it's it's just very interesting when you meet someone and they're, they're super enthusiastic about creating a new company and, and you, that enthusiasm kind of bounces back off us and it's, it's fantastic. Yeah, um, I get to do what I love for a living and yeah, I can't ask for more than that. This phrase, think outside the box, just that there is no box, just do something completely different that will get you noticed.